What up guys, Supermetal983 here, and I'm back again with another album review. But quickly, just before I get in this review, I'd just like to say apologies for the lack of videos lately. I decided to take uh, a little bit of a break from videos and even YouTube in general and just enjoy life, kind of. Just take a little bit of a step back and refresh myself and come back with a little bit more of a clear mindset and some video content and stuff upcoming and stuff like that i've got a couple of ideas and stuff that i want to do in the future obviously album reviews are in the mix there cd reviews uh updates and purchases and other bits and bobs in the pipeline but uh, more on that in the upcoming future you'll probably find out more in the next updates and purchases when indeed that comes about but i decided to take a little break from this hiatus and just come forward with a new album review because this is one that I definitely want to talk about and something that I've been spinning a hell of a lot lately and is vast becoming one of my favourite uh, albums of 2018 and definitely a contender for the album of the year and that is the new Construct of Leith album entitled Exiler this is released under Everlasting Spew Records now this is an album I received the promo for from Everlasting Spew Records so I'd just like to thank the guys at Everlasting Spew for hooking me up with this um, promo copy of this album because I am absolutely flawed by this album. I didn't know of this band's existence. I just knew that they had some big things coming because um, I'd heard their name going about the underground quite a lot lately. And I believe it features um, members of... Um, oh, what's the band? Benighted in this uh, project. So... Um, you may be familiar with them, I'm not too sure, I know there's an, another band, one of the members is in another band, I can't remember what that is, off the top of my head at this very moment, but that's a great review to start off with, but anyway, um, but yeah, Construct of Leith, um, I heard the name and I went ahead and checked them out and found out they had this new album coming out, so I checked out a couple of tracks, I believe it was on Brutal Full Albums HD, I believe was the YouTube channel, had quite a few tracks from this upcoming album, uh, which I'll get to in a little bit. But um, So I was really impressed with um, how it was sounding and how epic it was sounding. So I, I was listening to these tracks on YouTube quite a bit. And then I contacted Everlasting Spew, saying like, oh, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm definitely going to be ordering it. And the guys turned around and said, have you not received the promo? And I was like, no, it was I meant to. And it turned out I didn't get a uh, notification of it, and it was in my, um, you know, emails somewhere, it, like in the in the depths of my emails. And so I was, I was like, shit, I need to get this. So I immediately downloaded it and checked it out at that very moment, and I was just like, holy shit. This is easily one of the most finest examples of death metal to come out in 2018, if you ask me. This is easily... One of the most epic albums of 2018 so far. I think this has a definite um, majesty to it when you overall listen to it. It's definitely got that kind of... It's a straight-up uh, death metal kind of release. Um, and I might as well also add, I haven't checked out the band's older material because I've literally been obsessing over this album. I haven't had time to like dwell into the older stuff. But this album is where it's at. But anyway, if you're a fan of the likes of... Um, Morbid Angel or Immolation, I'd definitely say along the lines, Immolation sort of style, like Majesty and Decay sort of vibes. If you're into that sort of thing, then this is definitely for you. That kind of, not as if blackened, but really dark aspect of death metal that really creates an overall dark depth and atmosphere to it without it turning and converting into a like blackened death metal sort of release. It just has that kind of sense of creepiness and monolithicness overall to the overall production sound and um, musicianship that's going on on this album, if you ask me. I think it overall creates something quite um, monolithic. Is definitely a word I would definitely use. It kind of puts me in mind, I know this is kind of like a bit, bit punish, you could say. Um, not punish, as in, you know, punish someone, you know, not pun-like. Um, it kind of has that kind of, like, atmosphere of epicness, like the likes of um, Cattle Decapitations, Monolith to um, Monolith of Inhumanity, definitely did, in my personal opinion. I think it offers that much more um, epic monolithicness to it that that album definitely brought forward. I definitely get that sort of vibe, but it definitely offers the heaviness 
the grittiness and the overall power that is withheld within this album definitely puts in mind of the likes of Immolation's more modern material. Def I wouldn't say so much for atonement. I'd definitely say Majesty Decay, Providence and Kingdom of Conspiracy. I believe that's the name of the album. I could be wrong on that. But definitely along those sort of lines and um you know direction if you if that's the sort of thing you're into i definitely recommend them um, morbid angel i uh, haven't listened to them in quite a fair while so i can't really pinpoint what i would say um i'd maybe suggest like um gateway to annihil gateways to annihilation sort of vibes in there definitely has that monstrous gritty sort of vibe that you would hear on a morbid angel album and um those sort of um but it definitely, um, it's quite a relentless um, vibe of drumming on this album, but it's still an overall um, very powerful, punchy performance. I believe it's Kevin Paradis. I believe that's how it's pronounced. He's done um, a lot of session work over the years. I mean, he's done stuff that, as far as I'm aware, Ulcerate and Melichesh, and obviously Construct of Relief now. And I believe he done this year or last year, I can't remember when it was released, the new Auto Creator album, which I definitely need to check out because I was a big fan of their last album. But anyway, moving on from that. Uh, but Kevin's an absolutely monstrous drummer. Does a lot, a lot of single foot um, blast beats and even very creativeness overall in his, his playing. He's very creative. He had some progressive elements just to add an overall a progressive vibe, but also keeps it very technical. But this, I'd say, a bit is a bit of a a more eased back kind of Kevin Paris. I know he's um he's very technical and very fast, and this one I feel is a bit eased back. It's more concentrating on groove and creating some great atmospheres overall. Like as I said about the whole um Majesty and Decay kind of um atmospheres and I definitely feel that sort of vibe on this album and definitely the monolithicness of cattle decapitation if you ask me it's not like an overall grind sensation you know what I mean um one thing you will notice straight away within the first couple of seconds of listening to this album straight away is the monstrous huge pounding bass tone that's clanky as shit and just overall in my personal opinion massive Absolutely massive. Kind of puts us in in sort of um, mindset of the likes of Mortar Skulls' uh, last album, Wounds Deeper Than Time. That's overall based on it. Kind of does sound Ampeg um, crunch to it, like Cannibal Corpse sort of vibes. So I definitely, I, I think it's an Ampeg. I could be completely wrong on that. And it could be like, I don't know, 30 watt Fender Come on, I don't know, I don't know, but it overall sounds like an Ampeg sort of sound, and it's really boomy, very clunky, and just chunky as shit. I absolutely love it. Um, overall, guitar tone is massive, and the guitar playability, as I said, it's straight up death metal, but it adds overall um, a very black sort of darkness to it, but then creates some like epic, more melodic passages and progressive elements that really add to it it was i would never describe this as like a progressive death metal kind of release but it definitely has some progressive elements in there that create um a little bit of breaks here and there like some cleaner sections in there just to overall create a bit more atmosphere to this album and and overall for all it's uh how long is it 41 minutes it it definitely withstands its test of time by the time you get the uh, end of the album you're like Where's the where's the time gone? It passes over so quickly and you need to listen to it again and again. And the overall guitar work is absolutely fantastic. Really good work. Exceptional lead work as well. Beautifully serenading over those um, monstrous riffs and creating just absolute perfection, if you ask me. Um, the vocals, though, are fantastically executed. Execute with poise and precision and just overall creating not so much a lot of energy in the vocals but it creates like a bit of a, a chasmatic kind of vibe in the vocals it really adds an overall low bellowing sort of bow wretched kind of vocal it's not like you know like that sort of you know like 
Nile-esque, you could say, you know, Carl Sanders sort of shit. But it really is very powerful and um, kind of reminiscent of the, the likes of Mortar Skull. If you're a fan of the vocal work on the last Mortar Skull album, you'll definitely find something to love about this album, um, especially on the vocal department. It is exquisite if you ask me and i have to say though i need to check out some of construct of these all this stuff because this album truly magnificent a absolute spectacle to listen to and an overall just an experience in my opinion this is currently sat at number three number three in the top albums of 2018 just behind ingested and uh rum ahoy and so far, those three keep on jostling for the number one spot, but there is an album coming out very soon that I have a thing. I have a good feeling and a wretched bowel movement feeling that the, that the next album that is coming in the upcoming future that I've pre-ordered, I'll tell you some more about it in the future, will be my album of the year, but we'll see what happens. But this one is so far, so far, my death metal record of 2018. It's overtaken. Uh, I don't know if I can reach them. Uh, where it's overtaken. Uh, Apophis's last album. Um, in my personal opinion, I think it just offers that little bit more than what Apophis. Um, uh, where am I going? I don't know. But yeah, make sure you check out um, Constructively Lee's new album Exiler. It is absolutely monolithic, giant, and overall. A spectacle to listen to it's huge if you're a fan of morbid angel immolation or mortar skull or even cattle decapitation you'll find something to like about these guys an excellent excellent release from everlasting spew i'd just like to thank the guys from everlasting spew, everlasting spew once again for hooking us up with this album to review i'm absolutely blown away i'm going to be doing a little order from the um from the website just a little bundle uh, maybe do a little bit of an unpackaging in the future, but anyways, for an overall score though on this album, I'm going to give this a solid 9.5 out of 10. Absolutely outstanding album, and definitely something you just need to hear if you're into death metal that's filled with majesty and overall annihilation and overall darkness. But yeah, I'll see you until the next video, and remember, stay metal, and I'll see you later.